Hello ladies and gents, this is Dan with Adventure Today. Thanks for being here. Be sure to subscribe, click that bell, and share with your friends. Today is a big day. This is a 68,000 mile review on my 2017 Ford F-250 Power Stroke Diesel Super Duty. And this has been a great truck for me. Um, so what I wanted to do today was talk to you a little bit about you know, a couple of the problems that I've had, we'll talk about those a little bit, but I wanted to really go over, you know, what this truck looks like today versus, of course, when it was brand new, it was in perfect condition. And I want to show you um, some pretty impressive things on it. So hang with me for just a second and I'll be right back. So yes, it's a Lariat and uh, it's got the ultimate package on it. And why did I pick out this truck? Well, I, I really didn't have much of a choice because what I wanted was a front bench seat because I've got six people in my family and so I need a front bench seat. And this was the only truck in a eight state area. And so I took this one and it's actually, you know, pretty close to what I would have picked out if I was gonna custom order a truck. And, um, and it's been great. So, you know, really my, my goal with this video here is to um, give you a little feel for what my experience has been with the truck. I'm gonna start off with some of the things I wish Ford maybe would have done differently from the factory and the engineering department. I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about a couple of the problems I've had with it. And then I wanna talk to you about, you know, some of the things that I'm just really, really, really impressed with, which is why I'm going back to another Ford. I'm getting a dually because our plan is to get a fifth wheel and um, this truck won't handle it. So I need uh, I need six tires on the ground. That's really the only reason why we're, we're trading it in. Um, okay, so let's talk. Let's start with some of the things I wish Ford could have done differently. <clears throat> so these are nitpicky. I'll just go over with them real quick. The windshield wipers, I wish the rain sensitivity on them was dialed in a little bit better than what it is. It's just a little bit oversensitive, but that's an easy fix for me. I just turn it off, no big deal. I pop new Bosch uh, wiper blades on this once a year and um, wipers work fantastically. Um, the headlights, this truck came with halogen bulbs. You know, they're pretty yellow from the factory. My prior car had LEDs before I bought this. And so it was, I felt like it was a big downgrade just because of what I was used to prior to this. Easy fix, I went to LED bulbs that I replaced myself. I've got a couple of videos on those. Um, and there's, uh, to me with the LED aftermarket bulbs, there's really two ways to go. You can go lower budget and go beam tech. You won't get much flashing with beam techs and the light output is about 85 or 90 percent as good as what i think the premium option is which is headlight revolution now i've got headlight revolution bulbs right now in the headlights and i've got beam techs in the fogs the color is exactly the same and they just are fantastic at lighting up the road again very few flashes i think most of the time if i get a flash it's because these super duties have four low beam headlights on um, because when you're on low beam, you've got two uh, uh, bulbs in here, and uh, so two plus two is four, and people look at that and they just flash it thinking you've got your headlights on. Well, that's, I think that's mainly where the flashing comes from. It's not so much that the bulbs or the light is in their faces. I think it's mainly because there's four bulbs on here. So anyway, but the light output is, uh, is fantastic. So, okay, so that, that's a couple of things. Um, navigation system I have on it. I wish Ford would come out with another update on that. But again, that's not really that big of a deal. Um, this truck has got the Sony uh, stock stereo system on it. Um, for the most part, it's, it's okay. Um, again, my previous car had a little bit more of a high fidelity Bang & Olufsen stereo in it. I paid quite a bit to have that stereo from, ordered from the factory. Uh, so I came into this, I felt like it was a pretty decent downgrade. All I had to do with this truck to bring it up to my satisfaction level is change the four door speakers out. I've got a video on that. That was really easy to do and enormously satisfying. It really did a great job improving the bass, the high fidelity, the crispness of the music. It got rid of a lot of the um, overpowering of some songs over the amp. Um, so I think the speakers are really the weak spot with, uh, 
with these stereos. Uh, but it's an easy fix. You just swap out four speakers, and I think for probably 90 or 95 percent of the audio listening population, that would that'll do the trick for you. Um, what else? You know, that's really just about it. I mean, um, on the the, the nitpicks. Um, you know, we had a couple recalls on it, but you know, this is a 2017. It was the first year for uh, the remake on the truck. There's going to be some things like that that happen. So I'm not really going to blame Ford on that. You know, it's just uh, or the truck. It's just the way it goes. Um, now, one area that I have had trouble with that has been a source of frustration, of course, has been the door locks. And I would say I have had much, much more than my fair share of trouble. And I, it may be a function of just where I live. I live in St. Louis, Missouri, and we get very wide ranging temperatures in this part of the country. And when the temperature was dropping down to the mid to lower 20s, um, these locks were freezing up. And um, one time I got stranded in Omaha, Nebraska in a snowstorm. Um, and so, you know, I've dealt with that. Now, for the past winter and a half, they've worked perfectly. I think Ford has finally, you know, kind of gotten their hands around it. I don't think that it's a perfect solution, but for me, it solved the problem and uh, pretty happy with that. Other than that, that's been about it. I mean, it's been super reliable, incredibly reliable. And I've got, uh, so, so let's start migrating a little bit to some of the things that I really like about the truck. I mean, those are really my only nitpicks. It's little silly things. Uh, with the engineering of it that really aren't that bag, big of a deal or not things you can't fix for, with very little money. And then from a reliability perspective, it's never let me down. It's always performed. It's always worked. The engine's been perfect. The transmission's been perfect. The rest of the drivetrain and the suspension and everything has been perfect. Um, the only thing has just been these door locks. And I think Ford's got that straightened out. So anyway, okay, so what do I like about the truck? Number one, um, I think Ford does a great job with paint. Let's just start right there. Um, now I do have a ceramic coat on this truck. I do have another video on that. Um, the paint is amazing and it is really tough. Now I'm, I'm recording this in, um, you know, in a high def uh, format and it's really hard to really appreciate how shiny this truck is. I mean, there you can kind of get a feel for it. I mean, it's got just an amazing mirror like finish. And I think, you know, part of that is because of the, the ceramic coat that I applied to it, which I highly recommend, but also Ford just knows what they're doing with paint. Now in, in the St. Louis area, if you all don't know, we have a lot of limestone around here and it is really common to get broken windshields and just stone chips like crazy on the hood. And this hood is nearly perfect after 68,000 miles. Um, I've done a lot of highway driving on this truck. My first year and a half I had this truck, I had an outside sales job and I was traveling around uh, four different states. So I was on long highway trips and uh, the past year and a half, I work about 40 miles away from the house. So it's been more uh, stop and go driving. I drive through a couple towns to get there and everything like that. But the paint is amazing. Um, you can see on here that, I mean, I'll, I'll include some pictures, but I mean, it is, the, the hood is flawless. I mean, it, this does not have a film on it. This is just the raw paint. And it just looks so good. I'm trying to record this where you don't have a lot of glaring sun because it's easier to see how good the paint looks. But I mean, it is just really, really amazing. So, um, I mean, the paint is just fantastic. So, okay, so let's talk about maybe some of the other areas where, you know, used vehicles start to show their wear and tear. Well, how about the seats? Now the 68,035 miles I have on this truck, I've sat in this truck for probably 60,000 of those miles. <laughs> maybe 35 is maybe my wife every once in a while to the grocery store or you know maybe a dealership moving the moving around in their parking lot a little bit. But I mean look at this driver's seat. I mean it is it it's fantastic. You know, and I didn't I did not treat this or anything before I made this video. I mean I didn't do anything like that. And um it just looks really, really good. So the leather is just holding up. I mean, great. Again, this is a Lariat. You know, this is not the King Ranch leather, the upgraded leather or anything like that. It just, it's just a regular old leather for the, uh, for the Lariat and it's really holding up good, even in the back seat. You know, it just, it just looks really, really good. So, you know, I think you can tell I didn't clean it up because look, I mean, it's still kind of trash in this side for my kids. And uh, so, you know, I think that's, that's one thing. Another thing that I really like about this truck, 
this is probably gonna be kind of difficult to show you but you know i've got the spray and bread liner and i have had rocks in here i've had mulch you can see we've got firewood in here but um i mean this thing has been you know i wouldn't say as used as just a pure straight out work truck has but this uh, bed liner is just uh with a little bit of cleanup here i mean it just looks perfect um so very very tough very well engineered i've got no dents or dings or any of that crap that they you know the the gm folks try to tell you how bad these beds are how weak they are i mean this is a strong bed um so that is great I, these interior lights which is you know really difficult to show uh during the daytime but those those lights i use those all the time on this truck it's just uh, it's just a great feature that ford thought about to engineer in here so anyway um that's you know a little bit there um i've got the back uh revolver bed cover and this has been fantastic say so maybe the only little nitpick on that is in the winter it gets a little bit stiff when when temperatures get below freezing but uh but other than that for me this is the way to go because you can roll this thing all the way up still see out the back window and it's it gives you access to about 90 percent of the bed of the truck it's highly secure because this is aluminum and it's really strong and you can't open this unless the tailgate is open and the tailgate obviously locks so it's a very secure um, piece of technology there so anyway um, I've got the power stroke diesel it's been flawless it gets great gas mileage it's super powerful the sound of this motor I just addicted to it I just I love the sound of that powerful diesel motor and how effortless it, it shifts and drives um, the the transmission in this truck which has been around for a long long time this has got the six-speed transmission in it what is it called the 6r 140 I believe um, it has also been flawless and you know the transmission is really one of the most important aspects of a truck like this because the transmission helps protect the engine and um, it really plays a huge role in how a truck feels when it's towing and so forth so yeah it's part of, partly how powerful the engine is but the transmission is really the secret sauce when it comes to towing heavy loads or you know if the transmission is not dialed in or tuned right no matter how good your engine is it's not going to feel correct um, I've got direct experience with this on a previous GM SUV that is again a brand new model and I actually had the opportunity to work hand in hand with some of the GM engineers on coming up with a, a better tune for the transmission and um, every month or so I would go back to dealership get a reflash with a custom tune that they would send to me and we were able to dial it in with them and um, then they implemented that across the nationwide fleet of vehicles so that was pretty pretty good experience but I think I'm pretty well tuned in with how these transmissions should be tuned and Ford did a great job with with that um, okay so we talked about the engine we've talked about the transmission 68,000 miles still on original brakes <laughs> I tow a 11,500 pound travel trailer of course it has brakes on it but you know this thing uh, has been doing some work um, approximately let's see about of the 68,000 miles probably 13 or 14,000 of those miles are um, with that travel trailer and um, so you know I'm not towing every single day but when I'm towing we're towing something that you know that is working the truck a little bit and you know these people that say that oh gosh you can't feel the trailer behind you you, you can you know you can feel the trailer back there um so the truck is working harder and so forth now it, it, are you are we stressing out the truck or anything like that i would say no it's what it's designed for and you know this power stroke diesel motor is amazing i think one of the best things that ford did and it took them a couple years to figure this out but they uh took ownership of the engineering of their diesel motors and it has really paid dividends because to me this is the premier diesel motor on the road today um the 6.7 liter the 2020 is just another step above the beast that already sits inside these uh, 2017 to 2019 models now of course it's a diesel i've got two batteries in here i'm going to show you something in a couple seconds about these batteries um these batteries are original batteries 
you've got to check the fluid in here. I've only had to add a little bit of water one time, um, not much, but just, you know, I'm just kind of nitpicky about my maintenance. And so I just topped them off a little bit. That was it. The batteries are awesome. And in fact, let me show you real quick how good these batteries are. So again, 68,000 miles. This truck is almost three years old. It sits outside all the time. And uh, let me show you a little something about these batteries. Okay guys, I'm back here in the truck and I, I went and grabbed my Ansel BA-101. This is my uh, battery tester. And so um, I, I love this little device. If you don't have one of these, they don't cost that much money. Um, they're great. You can use these on any kind of battery that you have to uh, test the battery. I'll show you a couple things on that here in a second. I also have a video on this device. <laughs> um, okay, so this battery has been around for a long time by Ford. It's the ML BXT 65750. Now, you know, Ford pretty much keeps a lot of the, the technical features of this battery a secret. So you gotta hop on the internet to figure out what your reserve capacity is on this battery. So it's actually 140. And um, so your 140 amp hour battery. So um, to, you gotta have the amp hours to figure out if your battery is a good battery or not. So you just, with this Ansel, you just punch in what your amp hours are. It's a 140 amp hour battery. Use these buttons down here to make adjustments. And it's a 140. And then you hit enter and it starts testing. Just takes a couple of seconds. And then what you can see here is that this battery is testing as a good battery. It's got, uh, it's rated for, it's showing 850, um, amps, cranking amps, uh, 1,095 cold cranking amps, and it is a healthy battery. It's charged at 98%, and it's got 12.73 volts, 12.73 volts. So let's uh, take this over to the other battery. I'm going to do this with you live here so you can see that I'm not making stuff up or anything like that. Let's hook the negative up. Now let's hook the positive up. Back to the quick test. We're set at 140. And now we're testing. Okay, so again, testing is a good battery. Um, cold cranking amps are very similar at 1,185 and 12.74 volts. I mean, they're almost similar. Now, these batteries are connected to each other, but the point of what I'm trying to show you here is, um, number one, you gotta get one of these devices if you are concerned at all about battery health and so forth. Uh, I'm gonna set this over here real quick. Um, but these batteries are actually really good batteries. I mean, three years old, sitting outside all the time, they have held up really well. Um, I have not wiped down the interior of this, this uh, engine bay, and you can see it looks pretty clean. Um, of course, your air filter's over here. Uh, Ford does give you this device to uh, measure, you know, how how plugged up your air filter is. Do I would my recommendation is do not rely on this. Um, air filters, if you go to um, diesel diesel filters online, I think is the website. Uh, that's where I buy my filters. They're about half price from the dealership, and I change these out about every 20,000 miles, and they are filthy at 20,000 miles. So this thing uh, has never shown that it's full. Maybe I'm switching them out too early, but, you know, for 50 bucks, it's pretty cheap insurance, and uh, I do notice maybe a little pickup in fuel mileage when I do change that off. So anyway, just something to think about there. But, you know, I know this engine is really packed in here. And it looks like, gosh, I just so hard to service on and everything like that. But but you got to remember, this is a premium motor from Ford. Y yep, you're, there's, there's going to be some engines out there that have trouble. Uh, you need to dig in here and get to the different things. Um, I had to replace the clutch on this fan. You know, that was like an $1,100 job to do that because they had to tear a few things apart. But, um, but you know, it's a premium motor. It's, it, they've spent a lot of time and effort in designing this thing so it does not have problems. And when you think about all of the, you know, literally millions of these motors that are on the road, 
Um, and, and if you're on the forums, you know, typically the people that are having trouble, they go out and look on the forums, and it sounds like a whole bunch of people are having trouble maybe from time to time. But, you know, the reality is very few of these engines are giving people trouble. Uh, th this is a great motor if you're – if, you're, if you've got an application where you're kind of on the fence, do I go diesel or, or go gas, um, I would say go diesel. I mean, the drivability, the fuel mileage, um, the just the sheer power, but the sound and all those other little pieces of satisfaction you pick up from having a motor like this, I mean, really pay off. Now, the 7.3 Godzilla maybe complicates that a little bit because, you know, that's got it's a more powerful engine. It's got about 475 pounds of torque. So, uh, but it, but that's half the torque of this motor. It's half the torque of this motor, and this motor is making its torque at about half the RPMs of that Godzilla. And I'm telling you, if you're you've got an application where you're on the fence, spend the extra money and get the diesel. I think uh, it's it's really well well worth it. Um, so I'm on my second set of tires. I'm gonna do a review on these Coopers. I've got thirty thousand miles on these. They've been really really good, but um, the the stock. Michelin um, LTX AT2s are okay. I think they're more of like a highway tire than they are an off-road tire. I think Ford puts them on there because they're pretty quiet. They do handle well in the dry and they're smooth riding. Uh, they also tow very well, but they're not really an off-road tire. They don't look that aggressive, and um, which is why I went with these Coopers. These are the AT3 XLTs. They've got a the little bit more of a bulky um, of uh, uh, sidewall with some extra protection here and they've done really good one thing that i that i noticed that was frustrating about the michelins is you lost a lot of siping pretty early on in the tread life and not so with these coopers um all of my sipes are still visible and still pretty deep on here and so you know that's just it's you're getting more tire for your money when you buy tires pay a lot of attention to how deep those sipes are because some manufacturers will skimp you on the sipes and then you basically have got slicks and you lose a lot of uh, tread uh, or, or traction with that, uh, um, with, with those tires. So anyway, you know, happy with the truck. It's been great, I'm gonna miss it. It's been super reliable, it's been super fuel efficient. Um, my kids have loved it and it's just been, you know, really, really fun. So anyway, hey, um, can you take your binky out real quick? Livy, hey, can I ask you a question? Yes. How much do you like Daddy's truck? A uh, hundred. A hundred what? A hundred thousand weeks. A hundred thousand weeks is how much you love it? Yes. Okay. Do you want Daddy to get rid of it or you want Daddy to keep it? I want you to get rid of it. Why? Because uh, the black is paint. The black is paint? And what about the new one? You want to get the new, the new truck is coming? Oh, a rainbow color? Yeah. yeah, I don't think Daddy's gonna get a rainbow one. Okay, okay thank you. <laughs> okay, so that might bring up the question, is my new truck gonna be rainbow color? No, it's not, not at all. It is gonna be blue jeans with, um, uh, blue jeans with the accent stripe down here being the exact same color as this. I just absolutely gonna love the, the look of that truck. So when I get that, I'll do a review on it and uh, share it with you, everybody here. Anyway, thanks for being here. 2017 Super Duties are fantastic. Uh, super happy with it. And uh, it's gonna be sad to see this one go, but again, obviously excited about the new one and uh, all of our adventures out on the road and everything like that. But again, thanks for being here today. I appreciate you subscribing. Click that bell, share with your friends, and we will see you real soon, okay? Thanks a lot, take care, bye. I was thinking about you, like drinking